What to do, players and trainers? It's your boy, the Blazing Squid. We're up against Apollo. I'm not sure what his team is. I don't know if he's gonna be the Lake Erie. If he's, I know he's taking over for um, for Shea here, but I'm not sure 100%. Did I not save? Oh yeah, no, it's here, it's here. Okay. I got so scared for a second. Okay, my team, uh, we got here the good old Zero Aura. It's not really a sound I wanna use, but it's fine, we'll make it work. Uh, we have a offensive, like pivotal attacking, more more like defog, scouting, Pidgeot, Mega Pidgeot. Uh, we have a, hold on. actually, I think I need to redo this. Um, you know, I'm actually gonna give it the the ground memory. I mean, the dragon memory. Uh, where the memory goes? No. Okay, I lost the memories. That's not it. So I just want to give it the dragon memory because um, he has like Arcanine and stuff, and I would like to resist his water step as well. So. That's our Savali. Some nice memory, and I just took off Pidgeot. Uh, but it's got coverage for the Ferrothorn, and we have coverage for the Gyarados, and we have Parting Shot. Uh, we have V Create, Bull Striking, Victini, uh, U Turn, and Will It Was for the Gyarados as well. The super bulky, super bulky Roar Skull for Forion, and uh, Figgy Berry Offensive. Yeah, really specially defensive. Um, Scalabier. You know, I didn't make sure this team works. This team might not work. Yeah, yeah. We're just going into the game like that. If it doesn't work, okay, it works. Okay, Apollo might be ready, so let's just go into this match here. And soon after, I fight Jesse, actually. So that's gonna be super fun. I actually have the team up for Jesse. So I'm hoping. Alright, so his team is. Okay. About almost everything I expected except for the Espeon. You know, now that I think about it, I can't party shot on the Espeon. He didn't bring this Cavalier, so I'm actually really happy about that. Um, there's a lot of things that can scare out here, though. But there's a lot of things that I have good coverage against. He has his lead, so that's actually... Okay. For me, I guess. Um, fastest thing on the field is going to be Pidgeot, so I can always. Do you have U turn? Please, somebody put U turn. If I don't have U turn on you. Okay, perfect. Okay, so. So. Let's, I think we can do that. Problem would be if he leaves. Okay, we'll, we'll just do that. We'll do that. Um, but for Jesse, man, what, what am I running again? Almost everything looks right. It's like Hundred is coming, and then we can talk about a bit about what I think he might be bringing. All right, Apollo, let's have fun. Good luck, my dude. He battled Isaac the other day, and he battled with the Blazing Squid. Can he beat the Squid Household? That's what they're calling us nowadays, the Squid Household. These guys are going to lead off with the uh, cool the Gyarados. I'm not mad. Not mad, and it's not. Intimidate, which is super weird. I'm just gonna Mega Evolve and Hurricane. See what uh, we can type of scout what we're dealing with here. Um, did I bring Zygarde? I didn't bring Zygarde. Vaporeon is probably the correct switching, but that's fine. Um, did, am I bringing Buzzmole? Decidueye, I think Decidueye, and that's it. I think that's the team I'm bringing. I think. All right, so let's find out. I think I even live. Uh, Ice Fang. Eh, it does about thirty percent. He does go for the crunch though. And that's gonna do a good chunk. So I'm just gonna use her now. I have no other means of being here for. Okay, it's recording fine. I might actually need my calculator. It's actually gonna switch out. That's cool with me. Except he goes, okay, this thing is fine. Whoa, this gauge is way off. 
Did I do a good chunk of damage? Actually, it's way... Okay, yeah, that's... Okay, I'm gonna have to fix this later on. That's about... That's not even 25%. Do I just go up to be teeny and try to recreate this? I can always go into Zera Aura. Because if he's Scarf, he's not, he's forced to switch out. Uh, what does his team look like again? I can always close combat. I think we can do that. Let's give Zera Aura turns to shine. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't... I wish I had the fire move, the fire punch, but we're just gonna close combat here. If he goes into Thunders, that's cool with him. Okay, so it might be Scarf. I'm thinking Scarf. It doesn't mean the Arcanine. So, Vault Switch was a better play. Actually, nothing resists my Vault Switch, too. Oof. Alright, so let's see how much this does. That's a good chunk. I'm not mad about that. Are you Rocky Helmet? Rocky Helmet, perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to see. And now uh, we will Vault Switch out of here. Yeah, we'll Vault Switch out of here. <laughs> kind of wishing I had T-Vault right now. That's fine. That's fine. Um, do we Vault Switch into Vaporeon or do we Vault Switch? If I get rid of Arcanine, I can do a lot of work with um, Escavalier. A lot of work with Scout there. And I I am recording my voice and I don't know if desktop audio. I think it should be on. Music should be on for you guys. He's probably not expecting you to do that much, but Zero Aura is a little little beefy kind of guy. It, it's super crazy that you don't even have to need speed investments to outspeed. Like I outspeed his whole team with no speed investments. Which is ridiculous. That's how fast this mod is. This mod is a fast Little electric type. Alright, so we're gonna just Vault Switch out of here. If he switches out, I, I don't think Thunderous gets Vault Switch I think it's Prankster or something else. Probably Defiant. No, that's probably Tornadus. But if we can, I don't know. Now I don't even want to talk about just this team. I just want to focus on this game. It still is a very important win con, uh, especially for everything. Everything else we have to face. And then. Okay, he's gonna hard switch out. Perfect. As I've also switched out, that's cool with me. Oh, uh, but he brings in the fear. Okay, so let's see how much this does. That does a good chunk. Uh, so I can flamethrower here. We can do a few things. Flamethrower is not a bad one with Beast, the Savali. I just don't know. Um, actually, let's, let's import the set. Let's do that. Uh, let's copy, go to Pokemon Calculator, import this set. I also have will o -Wisp, but I don't know if I want to do that. Um, so Volley, Flamethrower, actually you have no investments, but 2A. have 60 seconds. So with Ferrothorn, you're doing not that much, if he's especially defensive. I can always scare it out. Oh, we're just going to v Teeny, because what wants to take a V-Create? Maybe this was actually a bad call. I could try to go for a bolt strike. I don't lose much. Cause 10 times out of 10, like, he, he's not gonna sack this thing. He actually goes for protect. Okay, that's a good call. That's a good call on his part. That's a really good call. Okay, that's a good call on his part. Alright, so what we'll do, we'll switch out into... I'm gonna bluff a Scarf. I'm gonna try to bluff a Scarf here. Try to get that Arcanine to come back in. What else can... 
Still frogs. Oof, he got us. He got us there. Alright, what he doesn't know is that I could defog. He sacked this thing. That's crazy. How much does defog hurt my team though? I don't have rocks in my own. Super annoying. And then I have this Pidgeot though. Uh, I don't know, do I really need it? See, this is where I kind of wish I had the Swords Dancing now. Hmm. Wish I had the Heat Wave. I really do. I don't even know what to take it. 68, I would take another one. I'm just gonna hurricane. Just try, we'll try to get off some hurricanes here. Uh, I could have defogged, but that's fine. It's almost 50%. There's a giant wall. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this play 100%. Um, I'm just gonna flamethrower actually next play. I'm not gonna even think twice about this. Bring in Beast. I should be able to flamethrower. Um, I don't have any sash users, but that's fine. Alright, so let's go for the flamethrower here. And let's see what can happen. He's gonna stay in. I don't know if I kill, though. And we kill. Perfect. So that means he's physically defensive. He was. Regardless, we got rid of it. We got rid of it. We could have got rid of it a while ago, but. Alright, so we're dragon typing. So meaning Ark and I really can't do much. Espeon could go for Dazzling Gleam, actually, though. Oof. Um. No, let's go into Camelot. Try to scare this thing out. What else do I need Beast for? He can want to be one to Ark and I. Um, I can 1v1 the Rotom. I have to find out if Rotom Scarf or not. So yeah, let's do that. If I could do this and then probably get a sub up. We're looking pretty well. We're looking damn decent. He goes for a Grass Knot instead. Was that a prediction? Yeah, that was a big time. That was a big time prediction to Vaporeon. All right, well this thing is super specially defensive. I'm just gonna go for that substitute right here, guys. I'm just gonna go for straight up for that substitute. See what can happen. He's gonna hard switch out, so maybe this could be Scarf in some sense. Arcanine's gonna come out though. Uh, he's not taking any Rocky Helmet damage, but he does have to take a Drill Run next play. So this Cavalier. Or. I try to. Drill Run is 52 to 50%. After the recoil damage. Oof, that's risky. Let's find out. Yeah, Intimidate's already applied. Um, You know what? Rocks are up. I'm trying to I'm gonna get another sub up. I'm gonna get up another sub. I need to put it within range. Let's put it within range. Uh, so we could do two of. We'll, do, we'll just. Uh, I don't know. Let's put it within range that if I come in on rocks, I can eat my figure berry and still set it up. Okay, so it's a little bit lower now. Mm, I might have to do one more though. No, no, we're gonna we're gonna do another one because I'm at sixty one. Hold on, sixty one. That means thirty four percent. If I come in on rocks, that's twelve percent, and then I go down to the thing. Yeah. So we'll just drill run here, actually. Let's drill run. Oh, the Rocky Helmet. No, wait, there's Rocky Helmet damage. Oh, he goes for Morning Sun this turn. Yeah, lucky. So let's find out what we're doing. This part is physically defensive, like mad physically defensive. But let's find out. Maybe drill run doesn't even touch. No, it's doing less than it should. And we do take the Rocky Helmet damage. All right, but we're gonna get our Fingy Berry, so we're gonna get up to a good amount of HP here, a substantial amount. Um, seeing that he's physically offensive like that, do I want to bring in Victini, or even 
beauty here. He doesn't have the ferret one anymore. Um, you know, any damage is good damage on this thing. Now I'm gonna be taking unnecessary damage. Let's go into Vaporeon. And I can always wish too, so let's do that. Now we know it has Morning Sun, it's mad defensive. I know, I was talking about how um, I'm actually supposed to, I'm supposed to battle Jesse soon. I'm probably gonna battle him after this, huh? So I was just setting up for Jesse. I didn't wanna. Oof, I knew a burn was coming. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, um, what wants to take a skull, though? Seriously. Um, the burn really sucks a lot, but it's fine. Maybe, who knows? We'll get a skull burn ourselves. Let's get a skull burn ourselves. Fairy Throne is no longer on the field, so that's like the least of my worries. Um, Thunderous can do a lot of damage, though. And so could. I don't know. He's actually gonna stay and go for Morning Sun himself. So let's see how much the Scald is doing, though. Kinda wish I had brought Zai Dog now. It's doing a great yeah. chunk. That's a good chunk. If I had rocks, man, I wish. Probably should have put more investments in this Cavalier. I'm actually going to wish this next turn. I don't think he has Wild Charge, so... And I think Arcanine switches out. Probably he goes into Thunderous or or the Rotom. Let's find out. I'm actually just going to wish here. Okay, or the Espeon. Which means I can get a clean switch into this Cavalier. Hindsight's 2020. Unless he makes that read. But then I won't be at negative one, I'll be at full HP. There's also Beast. And there's their Aura. No, I don't want to take it, because in the case it's Choice Specs, we'll go into Camelot. Let's see. Do you switch out? He, sw he stays in. Unless he has a slow baton pass, and that's like super awesome play on his part. Oh, maybe he has Hidden Power Fire. Shadow Ball. I'm okay with this play. I'm especially defensive. Okay, cool. We got all our HP back to him. Alright, I think that's in range for a drill run. In case he does bring in the Arcanine again. We should kill this thing in this range. If he does bring it in, we should kill. And getting rid of Arcanine means... Bitini can have probably a field day. Bitini could most likely have a field day. If that's the case. Um, uh, Rotom really, unless you have it in Power Fire, it really doesn't want to be one me. Arcanine is really the only thing that would... Do be able to touch this thing. Arcanine is the only thing that can touch this thing. I should have gauged how much damage that did though with the Espeon. If that's choice specs, switches out. Come on, show me the Arcanine. Oh, we got the Arcanine. We just need to land the drill run. We just need to land this drill run. And we're looking awesome. We're gonna connect the drill run and. Goodbye, Puppo. Goodbye, little doggo. Sweet. Yes, Cavalier is looking awesome. It's first kill of the season as well, guys. First kill of the season. So, let's find out uh, what happens next. What, what do we do next here? Um, What does he switch in? That's the real question. Let's put in Jesse's Mega. I think Mega Medichan might come. Mega Medicham. I have some pretty sneaky tactic here. In case he even brings um Alamomola. And this is not for LDL guys we're talking about. We're talking about for PGL. It's actually the last week for PGL too. Um this is like a make it or break it for him. If he loses this, he's out of playoffs. Like all chances for playoffs are gone. <laughs> So this our opponent here, Paul, is really ticking about that. Um, I'm actually shocked he actually he knew I had the drill run. I'm not sure why he didn't switch into anything else. Uh, 
Uh, does he have tornadoes? No, that's German. I mean, what else do I see coming? Either the crook or the yeah, crook or thing. Um. I'm not 100% what I do here, because if he's double dance, I lose. I lose to double dance, don't I? Because defenses are not that strong. Okay, let me see. Thunderous. Um, it's my scavenger. Wow. Life Warp set does that much. My Iron Head is not doing it. Squid Squatting Squad. Oof. It's going to think. Is this Kingdom Hearts? It is. This is Kingdom Hearts. I thought I went to Mew more. Sorry guys. He does go for the Dark Falls, so we might lose our aura here. Nope, lives on 11. Okay, so he lives on 11. I'm actually just gonna go for the Plasma Fates. I don't think, let me double check. Let me double check. Let's go with this one, because I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, this was fine. Um, it gets Prankster. What appreciates a Plasma Fist right here? Nothing. I don't even think Rotom appreciates it. Let's go for the Plasma Fist. Find out if this thing's Scarf or anything like that. I don't think it is. I'm, I'm fine with Zero Aura going down here. Okay, cool. He's actually going to sack the Gyarados. That's cool with me. Gyarados sack is cool with me. Zero Aura is going to get his first kill. Oh. Uh, yeah, I was trying to guess his team, but... We can guess that. Alright, cool, cool. So, Gyarados is down. And Zero Aura goes down. So, what do we do here? No, no, I think about it. This is bothering me a lot. I didn't even bring Ice Beam. Ooh. Vitini could come in because we know it's Rotom Thunderous and one more Mon. Rotom Thunderous Espeon. Man, I'm gonna have to sack Beauty here. I'm probably gonna go into Kid Flash. It's going to get flash. It's going to get flash. It's among our most offensive mod. Cold man. So are you start? Is my question. I have to kind of VK here. I kind of really do. It's just straight up VK. He is scarfed. I knew it. I knew it. So I have to lock him into a move. A move that can. The problem here is if Espeon is, um, he probably thought I was Garth. No, if he knew, no, nah, he would have known. I kind of feel like I should have u turned maybe, but it's fine. Espeon, 10 times out of 10, or Focus Sash, so that's, this might be a, just a phenomenal play for him overall. Um, let's find out. Not Scarf. Surprise. And Espeon just goes down just like that. What am I at? No, that was a false switch. I don't think I live a thunder ball. And who do I have in the back? I lost Pidgeot already. We have Camelot, the Scavalier, who can't really do much against anyone but himself. Kinda wish I had if I had a flame charge like I wanted to bring, I would have felt so much better. But I can start a parting shot too, actually.
Well, Kid Flash might not be able to live though. That's the thing. Uh, we're just gonna go for a V green. The off chance he does try to like do something real cheeky here. All right, so he actually I don't even know if he's scarfed. Oh no, we know he's not scarfed. So I kind of go into beast here, and do I start parting shot? It's a Camelot. We could do that. That's not a bad play. Ooh, what if he has Jack Nasty Fly loose? We know he doesn't have Hidden Power Fire. If not, he would have shown it by now. I don't even think he prepped for Hidden Power Fire. We're just going to party shot here. If he has the Hidden Power Ice, great play on him. If he Dark Pulses and Flinch, that's Pokemon for you guys. Alright. So let's find out what's going to happen here. What is it going to come down to? I probably made this... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. This was a very awkward team for me to build for, too. Let me see. Escalier versus a Scarf Rotom. Oh, I beat a 1v1. Okay. There's a Thunderbolt. And I could party shot out. Okay, now that he's at neg 1, and we do not see a nasty bot. Well, obviously, no. You're not even life orb. You're at neg one. It's crazy because Megahorn does 40 to 49% to this thing and is resisted. How? How do you do that much? I can also switch into beauty, but. This is where I don't really want to take that. It does 43 to 53. I get good damage off. Bring it down about 37 to 45. Differential. What's the win con? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go into the. Oh. That's because of rocks. I'm at 133, 134. I'm at 56. Okay, I, I live regardless, whatever he goes for. And we're just gonna sculpt. He's at neg one. What's sculpt? What's sculpt? Ball switch. Okay. That should do even less. I could have, like, wished. wished. Yeah. And then I could scout what he's gonna lock himself into. So we know he has Thunderbolt, Vault Switch, 50%, perfect. I don't even get the burn, but he gets a Flame Board first. That's fine though. Um, so we're Protect here. He doesn't know I have Protect. I haven't revealed it, and we can find out what do you lock yourself into, Rotom? What do you lock yourself into? I'm very intrigued into this. What will you do here? Vault switch. I'm okay with this vault switch game. Am I okay with it? Mm. I wish I had brought ground type now. If I had made Savali ground, would that have been better? Probably would have. I made my opponent real stuck. Uh, there's not much to think here. I have to just call. I know he's going to fall to Twitch. I don't have a scarf for this weekend. I made it very, very challenging though. Scarf teeny late game could pull through. I would have got rid of this thing real quick. 
But he would have known that if I didn't see Gyarados. Eh, it's a 50-50, 50-50. Just not having rocks, really, I guess, what made it difficult for me. I can go into Camelot. Meaning, he has to land on Blizzard. Scalpelier versus this thing. At neg one, he can't break thing though. Hmm. It's not breaking, it has to land the Mega Marks. Or he expects my parting shot and I just go for flamethrowers. I think I just go for flamethrowers here. 85. Oof. What if thing kills? What if Dark Ball kills? Oh no, I didn't think of that. Oh no. If Dark Balls kills, that's GG. 42. Dark Balls, not even Meg 1. Oh, we live it. I don't know if we live two. No, we don't live two. But we live one. So I'm gonna flamethrower in case he does ball switch. Yeah, he does ball switch though. I mean bark bars. It comes down to the flinch. He doesn't flinch. Part of shot. Twenty-five percent. Yeah, I could have tried, but Man, now I kind of regret not bringing Ice Beam. Ice Beam would have done so much more. Ice Beam would have done 50%. So it really comes down to Scavenger versus the world. I have to learn the Mega Horn. Like, Mega Horn has to land twice. And I have to live three electric moves. I think I lose here. I think I lose here to bad prep overall. Oh no, Dark Pulse. That does even less, I think. Should be no. So so would have won you that. No, it does not win me the match. Okay, Mega Horn. Just doing what it should do about. I'm at 80%. If I had the Figgy Berry still, I, I think, think I could have won this, but. I forgot if they don't like you, Doc. Um. No, that Dark Pulse is doing too much. Especially since this guy here. Alright. Dark Pulse. Did I not make you special defensive? Yes, I do. Is he modest? I'm at 80. What was I at before? 45. Uh, he's doing about 25. Thunderbolt does more. I don't know why he's not doing Thunderbolt. Okay. I don't know. That's... I feel like I lost. Maybe, yeah. I, maybe I don't. Okay, Vault switches. 80 down to... Yeah, I lose regardless. I did more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now that one did... Oh my god, if I had the Figgy Berry still. Whatever, I lose 1-0 though. It's not like I'm out of the game. Okay, cool. We land that. That should kill that. So now I know this guy, I needed rocks. Actually, rocks was good against the... Arcanine, good against the Thunderous, good against everything. So, huge misprep on my end. But that's the game, keep playing. I actually, and I could have stopped it with the Fairy Thorn. All I have to do is click and create. That's fine, players and trainers. I was doing so well this game too. I can't believe I'm losing. One, I'm one and two to start the season. You should have been when he did Dark Pulse. Well, that's fine, players and trainers. So bad, that is fine. We'll bounce next week. I don't know yet who I battle. I'll figure it out. Apollo, great game. Dude, keep up the good work. We face again towards three, probably week 12, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But with that said, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Battle Jesse for the big match. You guys are amazing. Stay blazing. Square out.
Interesante. Tú, cachita, ¿cómo te has comido?